welcome. Where are you from? Mississippi. Am your group? Yes, our name is Chapel Heart. Okay, and what does that mean? We grew up in a small community called Hearts Chapel. It's the name. It's named after our family because there's way too many of us. Okay, so how do you know each other? So Danica and I are sisters, and she is our first cousin. And because uh, I, I used to love um, American girl bands, you know, from around about the nineties. Oh, yes. Best era. You want to bring that back? Yes. yes. <laughs> I hope so. And tell me where you see yourselves in five years' time if you do well on the show. World domination. World domination. I like that. Okay. Who is the biggest diva? Danica. Okay. No hesitation on that one. She's, She's the, the most dramatic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you've got to have a diva in a group. You have to. So tell me what you're going to sing and why you chose it. So we're going to sing, uh, it's an original song. Uh, it's called You Can Have Him, Jolene. And uh, we've always been country music fans, and Dolly is by far our favorite. Dolly for president. <laughs> Dolly for president, y'all. Yes. Uh, we were so inspired by the song Jolene, and we just loved the storyline. And we figured, though, from 1973 to 2022, we could not still be fighting over the same man. Absolutely so not. we no. decided to tell him, you can just have him, Jolene. I like that. I love that. OK, well, look, two, three minutes literally can change your lives on this show. Let's see what's going to happen. Let's try. I like it already. Well, since the last song, I've had time to think it over. A lot of tears, a lot of beer. That midnight phone stop ringing But he'd leave the room and answer every time Well, it didn't seem so easy With that broken glass and pieces You holding me and saying you were wrong Well, I'm tired of second chances These sad, sad circumstances He's your problem, good luck keeping him home Till rivers turn to seas Adelie When you think that he's in love He'll surely leave Like he did me Well you can have him too Somebody get out your seat tonight huh? Well I fix my crown well, and, and those wedding bells stop ringing I took my keys and threw from please my name is Mitch Rosell I'm 35 I'm from East Tennessee nice to meet you Mitch <laughs> all right I don't think I have to guess around too much but you're going to sing some country music for us today yes or I'm, yes yeah I'm gonna sing some country music yeah well I want to ask a question um, what is your ultimate dream the ultimate dream is just to reach my potential for just hopefully to be opening on or playing on stadiums or something yeah that'd be amazing 
Can we see your eyes? We can't see your eyes. There, oh, there we go. There you are. <laughs> Maybe move your hat back a little. Yeah, there you go. What song will you be singing for us? Uh, I'm going to sing an original song. Definitely the most personal thing I've ever written. All right. I can't wait to hear this. The stage is yours. Good luck. Thank you. Don't strum your guitar a little bit. All right. This is a true story about my life. Every other weekend was all I got to see. Sometimes he'd come get me and we'd hit till the cold creek. We'd take that boat and drop it, grab the rods and reels and hop in. He'd open up that tackle box and he'd open up to me. And he'd say, son, I hope you I'm always thinking of you You're the drive inside my heart The reason I reach for the stars above He said my world revolves around you That's why I call you son Well I was gonna go live with him But I guess God had two-lane road on a Tuesday night a drunk driver crossed that center line they said my dad didn't feel a thing well I wish I could say the same cause losing him it left me cold I was mad at God couldn't let it go and then one blue sky morning a brown eyed baby boy was born and I looked outside and it started pouring I swear they were daddy's tears My old man, I could almost see him And that little face with a new heart beating The pain in mine started leaving When I whispered in his ear Son, I hope you know how much I love you Now it all makes sense this place in life I've come to You fill the hole inside my heart You're why I'll reach for the stars above My world revolves around you That's why I call you son How old are you? I'm 11. You're 11 years old. Now, have you performed before in front of audiences? I sing everywhere. What are you going to be singing for us today? All American Girl by Carrie Underwood. You guys know this? Yeah. Now, if you was to win the million dollars, what would you do with it? Well, I'd get a new hunting camp. What? A hunting camp. Explain to us what a hunting camp is. It's where, like, you get big bucks, and you can hang them. The animal? Mm-hmm. But you can't shoot, like, babies, like Bambi babies. You have to shoot big old bucks. Oh. So you're into adorable. hunting. That is adorable. Oh, we're into gosh. hunting. I'm a big old buck. <laughs> have you ever shot a big old buck? Not yet, but I will. <laughs> she will. You betcha. <laughs> Okay, Chloe, well, I can't wait to hear you sing, and I'm sure everybody else can't wait, so... You do your thing and enjoy yourself, Chloe. Hit it. Since the day they got married, he's been praying for a little baby.
I'm doing very well. How are you? Well, very nice to meet you. And who are you? I'm Drake Milligan from Fort Worth, Texas. Okay. How old are you, Drake? I'm 23. I'm guessing you're going to be singing today. Yes, sir. I will be singing. How do I know? You're amazing. I don't know how you do it, Simon. Don't ask. <laughs> now, I'm presuming that you gig around, I mean, the state or the country? Well, I'm based out of Nashville now. I've been recording my own songs here lately and, and been out with my band. We've been on the road and, and making stories and telling lies. And Yep. Out of interest, how many, are, how many roughly new artists get signed in Nashville per year, do you think? It's not very many. It's not, is it? So you think this is the platform to showcase your talent best? Absolutely. I mean, back in the day, uh, Elvis had the Ed Sullivan show, right? And, and yep. the Beatles did too. And I, yep. and I see this uh, uh, kind of on the same scale of that, uh, almost bigger, way bigger. Wow. And you have a lot of people behind us to tell if you're any good or not. They know a lot more than record companies do. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. We always say three minutes, hopefully, will change your life. Let's see what happens. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ready, boys? Staying too long at the honky tonk, spending too much just to tie one on. Little less right and a lot more on. Sounds like something I do. Calling in sick when the fish are biting, taking those curves with the gravel flying, keeping one eye on the next horizon. Sounds like something I do. I never had. And later maybe getting one kiss and going half crazy Sounds like something I do I never had a reason, girl, to go around looking for a fire to walk through Ain't like me to want somebody rearranging all my want-tos I ain't the kind of settle down and let myself get wrapped around somebody's finger But if I had you, baby, sounds like something What's your name? I'm Kennedy Dodds, and I'm 15 years old from Logan, Utah. All right. I'm guessing by that guitar you're a musician. Yes. <laughs> how, did you get into, how did you get into music? What, what inspired you to, to pick up a guitar? Um, so my dad used to play the guitar for me, uh, just one song that he knew. And um, I started singing when I was really little. My parents heard me singing in the car along to the radio, but I was on tune. And I was kind of singing in Baby Jabber because I didn't know how to talk yet. Oh but, my gosh, so you were really little. Yeah. <laughs> what inspired you to come here and, and share your talent with America's Got Talent? So my family has an eye disease called retinitis pigmentosa, or RP for short, where you lose um, vision until you are fully blind. And so I'm the only one in my family right now who doesn't have it. Um, my little sister told me that she wanted to see me on the biggest stage in the world before it's too late and her vision's gone. So oh. um, I've oh. worked really hard to get here and it's been crazy. <laughs> wow, that's unbelievable. How old's your sister? She's nine. Wow. And where is she today? She's right there. Ah. Oh. Wow. Okay. Well... We can't wait to he hear you sing. Thank you. Uh, just out of interest, are you going to sing an original song or a cover? I'm singing an original. And what's it called? Um, one Way Ticket to Tennessee. 
Can you tell me what it's about? It's about all the support my parents have given me for chasing my dreams to be a country singer. Okay, so this could be your ticket to Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay, I've got a good feeling about you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Daddy always tells me to follow my dreams. He says I can't go far if I don't care what people think. And if I wanna be a star, the key is working hard. Yeah, that is how you become your daddy's country sweetheart. What lies before me, heaven only knows But one thing is for sure You'll find me home and music grow I got my one-way ticket to Tennessee I took my one-way ticket On one way ticket, it's time to chase my dreams. On one way ticket to town, I'll see you. Oh, Nashville, here I come. Thank you. I'm curious, actually. What do you think about the music business right now for people like yourself? I feel like a lot of people have gotten away from being real humans in music, and I'm just here to do that and let people know that we're still human, we're still us. You know, it's not all robots doing it. And you're real, which is great. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so you ready for this? We hope. <laughs> I mean, do you feel confident? When I was a little kid, I never thought that I would even have the courage to sing in front of one person. And it's just, it's so crazy to be here. It's just a dream come true. <laughs> okay, look, we are really rooting for you. So we're all wishing you the best of luck. And we're really looking forward to hearing you. Good luck. Thank you so much. dreams will I say this sins right now well, I've got the door and I'm swinging it wide open and you're gonna let yourself out You were really nervous, and I could tell how, how important this is to you. Let's try that again. Um, did you bring another song with you? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, great. Can I hear your second song as well, please? Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Simon. <laughs> yes, Simon. <laughs> oh, thank you. Don't be nervous. This is a little song called November. It's also one of mine. There's people out there who live every day Not knowing how or why they came 
I'll be honest, I'm just like that. I never read the book, but I know what my heart said. And I talk to angels through strings. Heard them calling my name. As if it gets away, I bet it went someday. <laughs> the only place that I felt the ghost was in a crowded hall with mostly broken people singing the songs to get them through the day. It's the only place I If I get to where Tom Petty went someday Hope I make it there someday I'll make it there someday My name's Jimmy Rose Are you a little bit nervous today? A little bit, but that's what it's all about, right? Yes. And where are you from? I'm from Pineville, Kentucky. I'm a four-year United States Marine Corps veteran. Yeah. Well, thank you. What do you do? I'm a former coal miner back home in my hometown. That is a very dangerous job, yeah? Yes, ma'am, it is. You know, I worked underground, and uh, all my friends and family back home, you know, are coal miners, and... Uh, I'm going to be singing you an original song called Cole Keeps the Lights On. It's just kind of my way of getting behind the song, supporting my, uh, my hometown. Well, I can't wait to hear your song. Good I luck hope y'all enjoy it. Go, bud, let's go! This is the moment. It is the moment. He pulls in and then from a second shift Mama's still sleeping Kids still crashed out on the couch He goes in through the back door He don't want to wake him up So he wipes the cold dust off his face And he hits his knees He says, Lord, I want Thank you for everything He wrote this yes. And the strength you give me To make it day by day Cold keeps the lights on My whole town keeps the food on the spoon In my youngin's mouth Cars on a truck and a sundress Oh my baby girl In the high school halls of the mountain lions and the Bell County Bobcats on the hill. I hope I can say in the cold kept my lights on. Oh, Love you. Thank you. <laughs> we love her. She's great. How are you feeling tonight? I'm feeling pumped, man. Good. <laughs> All right. Good luck to you. Thank you so much. Gosh, 
she would be so nervous. <laughs> Toes, align your lips and keep them closed. Cross your legs, dot your eyes, and never let them see. With some rusty kitchen scissors I'll scream his name Till the neighbors call the cops I know the pain and the expense of my liver Don't know what I did next All I know I can see Go and fetch your makeup girl It's just a breakup plan Hide you crazy inside Acting like a lady goes out My mom, when I was 18 years old, entered me in a karaoke contest, and uh, I keep doing it. It makes me happy. And what will you be singing for us today? Everything I Do by Brian Adams. All right. Why that song, Hunter? Uh, growing up, my mom was a big fan, and I'm going to try and make it my own. Okay. It's a good song. Well, good luck, Hunter. Thank you. Look into your heart You will find There's nothing there to hide Take me as I am Take my life I would give it all Okay, hang on. Uh-oh. Hunter. I think what you were doing was very generic. Forget about the karaoke competitions. I've heard that a million times. I think you have a good voice, so what's missing here? What's the missing part? Which artist do you look up to at the moment? I kind of honestly want to be like Taylor Swift. <laughs> but she writes her own material. I do write. Really? Yes. Have you got your own song with you? Yeah. Okay, let's hear that, because this is a bit like, like you said, a karaoke competition. This is called Left Behind. Well, come on, take a ride with me. We'll put some gasoline in this truck. I'll fire it up, you let the windows down Like there ain't nobody in this town but us That's good enough for me But that's only in my dreams I watch the moon run The sun out of the sky To dream about us for just one more last night And for the rest of my life, honey I wouldn't mind having you by my side Oh, the miles that I would drive To be right in front of what I left behind Right in front of what I left behind. That was much better. Much better. What is your name? Who are you? I'm Brooke. And I'm Jack. And, and we're trailer, trailer flowers. flowers. How 
old are you girls? I'm 27. And I'm 25, I think. Yeah, you're 25. <laughs> How long have you guys been friends? How did you meet? We randomly became roommates. And we like then learned that we grew up in the same hometown, went to rival high schools, and we never knew one another until we moved to Nashville to chase our dream. Yeah. Can I ask a question? What's the dream? AGT has always been the dream. This was my grandpa's favorite show. He went to heaven on Christmas Eve this past year. Um, but I know he's got a front row seat, so don't awe. Um, <laughs> but the dream is to sell crazy records, go on crazy tours, shake our booties, meet people, connect. Okay, let's go. Start shaking the booties. Thank you, honey. Ready? Got a little boom in my big truck. Gonna open up the doors and turn it up. Gonna stop my boots through the Georgia mud. Gonna watch you make me fall in love. Get up on the hood of my daddy's tractor Up on the toolbox, it don't matter Down on the tailgate, girl, I can't wait To watch you do your thing oh, oh. Country girl, shake it for me, girl Shake it for me, girl Shake it for me Do you have a second song? Yes, we do. Do that one. All right, cool. Let's change it up. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do an original if that's okay. <laughs> this is like my greatest dream, y'all, as a songwriter to sing a song that I've written in front of a thousand people. <laughs> Um, so thank you so much um, for this opportunity. You got it? When I was young, I had to be old, had to be a mom to four kids that weren't even my own. When I was young, had to take care of the house, had to tuck on in. When I was young, I had to be old. When I was young, I had to be old. When I found God, He told me, Baby, I don't waste no time. It all works out. Just wait and see. I know it's scary. The unknown. But I will take the and when you think you're not enough Just look at me To remind you You are the daughter of a king wow. so When we see God He'll tell me Baby, I don't waste no time It all worked out Now can't you see It was scary The but I took care of things when they spun out of control And now you know sure enough Cause you're with me And baby, you are the daughter of a king oh. Baby, you are the daughter of a king My name is Cameron Ross. Okay, and what's your day job, or is this it? I am a sales director for a technology company. And are you a singer? I am a singer, Okay, yes, sir. and why do you think this is your time now, Cameron? I feel like this is such a great opportunity for me to show other people like me that it is possible to do this in the country music industry. 
as of now, I'm completely open and being who I love to be as a person and pursuing the stuff that I want to with complete confidence. Right, which is the way it should be. Absolutely, yes, Good. sir. So have you thought long and hard about your song? I have, yes. I'm going to be singing Red Dirt Road by Brooks and Dunn. Okay, and why is that applicable to you or it just suits your voice or what? It's a song that I grew up uh, listening to. Um, my grandma would actually tell me that it was written about her because it mentions a lady named Mary. And so my grandma's <laughs> name is Mary. So, so growing up, I believe that this song was written about her until oh. she kind of broke the news. Okay. <laughs> wow. Well, I got a good feeling about you. You got a great energy about you, Cameron. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. I was raised off of Route 3 Out past where the black top ends yeah, We walked to church on Sunday morning Raised barefoot back to Johnson's Head That's where I first saw Mary On that roadside picking blackberries That's all where I turned the corner in my soul Down that red dirt That's where I found Jesus Where I went to my first car I tore it all to pieces I learned the path to heaven Is full of sinners and believers Learned that happiness on earth Ain't just for high achievers I learned Okay um, I'd like you to do something for us. Okay. I want you to sing a cappella. Okay. And I want you to prove the point you've been wanting to prove. I want you to stand out. Okay. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Did you see the movie is over? Well, I guess we missed the last. Have. Just laying here in this bed together Me kissing you, you kissing me back It's getting late, can't you see? I should get up and leave If I don't, you know where it's going But you're giving me that look, baby that says you're up to no good, maybe Now you're whispering to my neck Leaving thoughts inside my head Well now since you put it that way If I need to, I'll go, darling But what if I stay? Yeah, what if I stay? Give your hand to me And you say hello And I could hardly speak My heart is beating so Oh, anyone can tell You think you know me well But you don't know with love for you Afraid and shy I'd let my chance go by The chance that you might love me too Oh, you give your hand to me And then you say goodbye right there beside that lucky girl know you'll never never know the one that loves you so cause you don't know me
My name is Joey. I'm Austin Edwards. Okay, and the group is? Broken, Broken Roots. Roots. Broken Roots. And where are you from, guys? Chicago, Illinois. And how old are you both? I'm 37. I'm 44. Okay. Is this what you do as a day job? No, I'm actually a homicide detective in the Chicagoland area. Wow. I was in law enforcement for quite some time as well. I recently resigned because I'm going to be opening up a music school for kids. So this is how you met, yeah, through work? No. no. In, in our job, we see a lot of things that, quite frankly, we don't want other people to see. Got it. And our outlet became music. Yeah. We ended up playing the same circuit for quite some time. And then randomly, he came to a show. We ended up clicking. And so we came together to form Broken Roots. Literally, we met six months ago. And uh, this will be the first time we will play together ever. First time. I love that. Well, let's see if the next two or three minutes can change your lives. Thank you so much for having us, you guys. Kira McGrath. And where are you from? I'm actually from Kennesaw, Georgia. It's a town about 20 minutes from Atlanta. And what do you do there? I am a server at the Atlanta Braves Stadium. Oh, really? Wow. And what are you going to be doing for us tonight? Tonight, I'll actually be singing for you, so no food being delivered. <laughs> have, you ever, uh, have you ever sang in the stadium? All the time. I literally sing Walking in the Door. I sing to the tables when it's their birthdays. We'll have little concerts in the back in downtime. It's all we do. Really? And it, was that the dream to... What, to sing in the back with the cooks? <laughs> Just to sing. Absolutely. It's something that I've always wanted to do, but when I was younger, people would do that thing like, oh, you sound so amazing, but like, you could be a little thinner or you could be a little taller. And so I never put myself out there like I should have. But it's been 25 years of being an idiot and just getting inside of your head. It's just too long. It's time. But Shakira, you're not the idiot. It's the people who judge people uh, for all the things you said who are the idiots. Wait, people who judge people are idiots? No, 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 no. <laughs> judge for the wrong reason are idiots. Oh, OK, OK, all right. Good luck. Thank you.
Hey, everybody out there. I made it all the way from Franklin, Kentucky to St. Paul. Yeah! What are you going to sing for us today? Well, one of my favorite songwriters is Bob Dylan. But a lot of people don't know that Bob Dylan wrote this beautiful song that I'm going to sing. It's, uh, it's my wife's favorite song. I sing it for her in the kitchen all the time. He's talking about you. I can't wait to see what you got. Good luck to you. Are you ready? Go ahead. When the rain's blowing in your face And the whole world is on your case I would offer you a Make you feel my love I know you haven't made your mind up yet But I'd never do you wrong I know that from the moment that we met There's no doubt in my mind where you I'd go hungry, I'd go black and blue I'd go crawling down the avenue There ain't nothing that I wouldn't do To make you feel my love To make you feel to make you feel my love Thank you. Thank you. I'm so proud of it. We are the Millers. The Millers, and you guys related? Yeah, yeah we're, we're brothers. brothers. Oh, <laughs> you gonna rock us out here? That's Definitely. right. All right, then do it. This is your big yeah. shot. Go for it. Turn it up. Big wheels keep on turning Carry me home to see my kin Yeah Singing songs about the Southland I 
You by yourself? Today, yes. When you did your audition, didn't your dad play with you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So he's not going to be in this number? Mm -mm. How do you feel about that? Kind of nervous. Catch your breath? Yeah. And do good, okay? Hey, good girl, get out while you can. Goodbye, shoes. Doesn't mean you're, you're not good. It means you're both good. Bye, -bye. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Um, tell us your name and how old you are. I'm Milton Penn from Forest City, Arkansas, and I'm 21 years of age. You gonna be singing for us? Yes, ma'am. What kind of music do you like to sing? I'm a country boy. That's, that's what it's all about. So what made you choose country? Well, it started off with a bad relationship with one of my ex, and I was just happened to be driving to work with, my, with my boss, and a song came on, Whiskey Lullaby, and it related to what was going on. So I just kind of went from there. It's good when you can connect your emotions from a bad breakup and use it in a good way. Yes, ma'am. So how important is, is today for you? Today, this is, this is it for me. I mean, I worked hard to get to where I'm at, and I'm not gonna stop. This is, this is it, this is me. To hear this, this is your time. Go for it and enjoy yourself. All right, thank you. <laughs> like I'm burning in the midnight cigarette. She broke his heart. He spent his whole life trying to forget. He put that bottle to his head and pulled the trigger He finally drank away her memory Life is short, but this time it was bigger Than the strength he had to get up off his knee And when we buried him the willow The angel sang a whiskey la 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 original music, it's a good act. But this is America's Got Talent, and at some point, we hand it over to America. Then you are asking them to vote on your song, and you're asking them to vote on your singing. That's the gamble. I think America will vote for him based on the fact that he has original thoughts and original music. Every one of these shows is a cover version. I love this. This is what's turning us on. But Howie, you and I always disagree on that. Man, man. And what's your name, sir? Uh, my name's Kevin Skinner. Oh, uh, Kevin, and uh, what are you going to do for us today? Uh, I'd like to sing a song for y'all. It's by Garth Brooks. Okay. <laughs> and what do you do? Uh, do you do this He's for a living? Do you, do, you do, this, you do this for a living, or do you have another yeah. job? And well, I, uh, yeah, I was a chicken catcher up for several years. Kevin, a chicken catcher. Um, how, did, how many chickens did you catch in a day? Uh... I'm not a math, real good at math. 
we caught about 60,000 in one night, <laughs> six guys. And one person caught eight at a time. <laughs> okay, that's it. This to see the act. Thought cross is my mind If I never wake in the morning Would she ever doubt The way I feel about her in my heart As if tomorrow never comes Will she know how much I loved her And did I try in every way To show her every day She's my only one If my time on earth were through She must face this world without me Is the love I gave her in the past Gonna be enough to last Tomorrow will never come Tell that someone that you love Is what you're thinking of Tomorrow will never come to present to you the roast of Simon Cowell. Oh. So I got into my comedy labs. I did a big data analysis, right? I looked at Simon's likes and dislikes, and I charted them, because I'm me. And so here we go. We'll start with his dislikes. Uh, number one, PowerPoint. If I'd known that, I would have done something completely different in my audition. 3% likability. That's really not likable. Uh, number two, uh, shaving. The man does not own a razor, right? No, maybe you do shave, you're just so masculine, the minute you finish, boom, the hair pops back out. Uh, at 1%, Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Parmesan, Parmesan. Uh, clowns, if you know, he hates clowns. He, I, I can't even stay on this slide. And finally, the biggest dislike, minus 6%, is uh, falling off a bike. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Too, too soon? Have you thought about training wheels? That's all I'm saying. That's all. <laughs> Understand? In what world do you live in, Rebecca? Where some 17-year-old dude is showing up to this house party like, y'all not gonna believe this? I got Pinot Grigio. <laughs> yeah, got that Grigio. <laughs> Let's do shots of Chardonnay. Let's start a book club. <laughs> It's never happened, right? You don't know a 17-year-old that owns a corkscrew. That's weird, all right? Not one time in your entire life can you tell me a time where you've seen a 17-year-old dude be like, mm, 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 mm. this Merlot pairs so well with a Doritos Locos taco. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> it's just something about Zinfandels in a Hot Pocket that is to die for. <laughs> Sophia! You, you did so much magic in two and a half minutes that I don't even know what I was seeing. You made me believe in magic. This is amazing. This was better than your audition, and I really want to know what Simon thinks! Simon! Did he win you over? I think I helped you. No! I do. I really, really do. I think magic that... Magic Simon. No, by me saying no at the auditions, I think has pushed you to be a better magician. <laughs> and I'm very happy to say on live television, 
I am officially an idiot. Yeah! I want to give a standing ovation to... Let me finish. To Howard Stern. Because I think you made the best choice. He this did. is probably the best wild card. Uh, kiss, Nobody kiss, has done better. Hug it out. Kiss, 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 hug it out. Kiss, 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 They're going to kiss, kiss on live kiss, TV. Kiss, kiss, they were arguing. Oh! I think I see Tom. There was tongue involved. Magic is definitely in the air. Oh my God! Are you you did it! Time, oh. Oh. You both did it! They kissed on live television. Where's my wife? <laughs> I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> and now look. I worked in the worst department at the grocery store. Not the meat, not produce, not the freeze. I worked in the steel department. You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? <laughs> I got paid to watch people steal all day. And people think you stupid. Like, you know when they gonna rob you when they bringing up their stuff, they always gotta look back up at you. They're like, boop, boop. This one dude tried to humiliate me, like I knew he was gonna rob us, cause I'm looking at him, he's looking at me, I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> but he, he tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even do it right, like you gotta act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, Bleh. <laughs> I like the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. <laughs> You're beeping unbeepable stuff. to come in America's Got Talent Champions. It was like all my dreams came true at once. I thought he was gonna be a singer. So I decided to do some research on the judges. Did you know that backstage there are five hairdressers, three makeup artists, a wardrobe department, and a whole team of nutritionists? <laughs> And that's just to maintain Simon's new look. Oh. 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 Heidi, uh -oh. my mum told me that you're a Victoria's Secret supermodel. <laughs> and she showed me one of your videos. But then Dad came home from work and we watched all your videos. <laughs> over and over again. This is Barbara Walters, and today on my show, I have award-winning actress, Natalie Portman. Natalie, I hear you're having a baby. I am Barbara. <laughs> We're thinking of naming the baby Oscar, but that's, that, that's silly because that's my cat's name, so. Hey, y'all, it's Wally Cyrus. What's up? Okay, good. What, Dad? No, I'm not going to clean my room right now. Want me to clean out your bank account? <laughs> I got a motorcycle. I don't like telling people I have a motorcycle because every time I tell someone, they always got to tell me a story about how their friends crashed on a motorcycle. You know, like, why do people have to be so negative? I don't go up to pregnant women telling them my dad left. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. I walked at my apartment one time, right? I walked at my apartment and my neighbor walked up to me. She was like, oh my God, you got a motorcycle? Are you stars? Are you stars? You better be careful. I got in a car wreck the other day. My car flipped eight times. I'm looking to be alive. Blissed, right? Yeah. She black, by the way. <laughs> Everyone around us was like, you know, that was, that is crazy that your car flipped eight times. You're alive. You are blessed, you know? And I'm, I'm over here thinking, who the heck counted, right? Like. Who's that calm when their car's flipping in the air? Ah! What? Like, who's doing that? My name is Preacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's, That's it. it. That's it? That's it? No, we need more. We need more.
I can teach you how to do Ryan Reynolds, but first you have to do Jim Carrey's voice. And in order to do Jim Carrey, just imagine yourself as a giant Canadian bird, okay? <laughs> Hi there, judges. Uh, I have some voices for you. <laughs> Take that Canadian bird down to a sexy whisper, and you have Ryan Reynolds. Hi there. I have some voices for you, judges. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> that did sound like Ryan Reynolds. Oh my God. Okay, here's how to do Seth Rogen's voice. Yeah, take Santa Claus's laugh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Now imagine Santa Claus eats a different kind of cookie. <laughs> 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 Job. I just lay down chimneys and I deliver packages to kids and eat their cookies. <laughs> now you can do that. You know, I'm not from California, but I look like I am. <laughs> just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> I made eight bucks walking over here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, can you guys see this bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, just making sure, you know? uh, <laughs> Everybody always thinks that this is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. Like, hey, does that thing work? I'm like, oh yeah, man. I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this arm next week. I uh, better take it off soon, though, you know? I don't want to get too better. <laughs> Might mess up my show, and then I have to figure out how to be a magic singing ventriloquist or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say we're not getting a puppet on that thing. Oh, my God! I just got the citizenship. Yeah! Until I got my citizenship, I never had a road rage. <laughs> if somebody cut me off, I'd be like, oh, so sorry. I was driving too slow. <laughs> but the day I got the citizenship, somebody cut me off. I'm like, what the heck? You can't cut me off. This is my land. <laughs> That's when I realized I become true American. <laughs> oh, that's great. He's hilarious. Because I felt entitled. <laughs> oh! Before the citizenship, somebody hold the door for me. I ran really fast. I'm like, thank you so much. After the citizenship, I'm like, yeah, you hold the door, you peasant. <laughs> <laughs> I got sassy. <laughs> I love her. Howie, I, I want to say this from, from my heart here. Uh, what you have done for the show, and as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted to pay you a tribute to show your significance, and most importantly, your importance for the 10 years you've been on the show. Over to you, Terry. Hey, it's out on Sunset Boulevard. Okay, let's take a look. Here we go. Count it down with me, people. Where am I looking? Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Hey. Now, Holly, last 
night you were brutally honest, and that didn't sit well with a lot of people online. Right. Uh, Right. How do you respond to that? Um, I'm not responding to them. You but, should apologize. But, you know what? The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> And also, I'm, I'm translating. Yeah. She said, grumpy. Okay. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, Sophia, a lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, well, first of all, we have different tastes. And we, we all have the same taste. Some of them don't know what, they, <laughs> what, they, what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. <laughs> <laughs> How is grumpy sometimes, and Simon is sometimes loco, so if there's nothing... I admit you. I do admit you. It was very hard on me growing up. He used to call me a huge waste. <laughs> you see, both of my parents wanted me to become a lawyer. Never even came close to becoming a lawyer, but I was once involved in a suit. <laughs> but I've since traveled the world. Went to Spain, fell madly in love with a Spanish sundress. <laughs> and we broke up and I was pantalones. Yeah! I love him. But I'm happily married now. Aw. <laughs> My wife and I are Polly. It's polyester. <laughs> Our daughter Capri. Brought home a pair of sweatpants. Hey, I want to be a supportive father, but I want to see her date someone ironed with a crease. This guy looked like he'd been donated. She asked if he could spend the night. I said, in my house, you'll sleep in separate drawers. You know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> The only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> the first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? No. Oh, no. Really? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> yes. Does this look familiar? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. Yo, this is a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> it's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. <laughs> so on the first day, they put us in a circle with a hundred kids. Oh, no. <laughs> the kid next to me did a shoulder roll, and my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. And I threw him a head flop. The girl next to him did a full body twitch and everybody saw that and all hell broke loose. <laughs> that is funny. Some of my charts, I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience, this is what's gonna happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot, I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in and this is where their lockers are. <laughs> That is so true. <laughs> it defies statistics. Sometimes statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that. 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. <laughs> Till death do us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. 
If, if you're married, enjoy it now. It does not end well. <laughs> There was, you know, we were deliberated a lot about whether we put you through to the final. I think Howie in particular didn't want you to be here. Ah, yes. And no. I said, no, you know what? No. I don't care why you say, Howie, no. they're going through to the finals. And you know what? I was right. And you know what I love about you? It's different and it's yes. difficult. Okay. And I like people who take that moment. And you took that moment. And we're going to remember yeah. you. For me, yeah. best act of the night. Only two are going through, remember. You've got to vote. Howie Canada represent. Yeah, he's a liar, eh? <laughs> no, he's I'm not. a real liar, eh? The only thing I'm mad at la, is la, that you worked on la, Canada's la, Got la, Talent. La, you would have won la, Canada's la, Got la, Talent. La, la, you guys are so la, la, fucking good. <laughs> My roommate's actually white, and he's like, uh, this is racist. Not all white people are serial killers. I'm like, well. <laughs> it looks like all serial killers are white here, buddy. We're on season 14. Come on. You know what I'm saying? It's a clean sweep. Let's go. And I feel bad because white people are actually the only people in the world that can be serial killers. There's no other ethnicity in the world that can get away with eight unsolved murders in a row. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you don't think black people want to be serial killers? Of course they do. They cannot. Could you imagine a black serial killer? He would get pulled over on the way to getting supplies. <laughs> He hasn't even done anything yet, come on. Indians, Asians, Hispanics, we can't be serial killers. Our family's way too nosy. <laughs> My mom's an old Indian lady, she's a snitch. <laughs> My mom will just show up, where is the rope? What happened to the duct tape? Where is the bleach? I'm calling the cops. I'm like, come on, mom, you raised me. <laughs> Don't do this, I'm your son, come on. <laughs> Password is magic. Did you just look? No, not at the. Are no. you guys talking? No. <laughs> Trick. Magic. Yes! 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 Magic is the correct <laughs> word. That is cheating. Who heard him tell me the word? That's that cheating. That means that you were cheating already. <laughs> They're him cheating him because they heard you cheating. <laughs> All right, nice. this is the I'm final sweating. clue. The we clue? are actually tied at the moment, <laughs> and we are going to start with Howie. The okay. password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. <laughs> million. Oh! He's right! Thank That's you very it. much, everyone.